Counterfeit money is an imitation of the real thing in order to deceive people, and of course it's used to rip people off. Then there's fake counterfeit money. The person running the scheme knows it's real, but the clients believe it's fake. This type of scam might not be as common as counterfeit money, but under the right circumstances, it can be far more successful. In one of the scams, a con artist approaches the victim. They offer to sell the victim a machine that can print $100 bills using only paper. There would be a few real $100 bills to demonstrate, but when the victim buys the machine for thousands of dollars, they quickly realize that the rest is worthless paper, and by the time they've realized this, the con artist is long gone. The second scam is where scammers would offer to sell people realistic-looking, high-quality counterfeit money. When the victim meets the scammer at the place of the scammer's choosing, they get to see the bag full of money. The victim thinks it's counterfeit, but in reality, it's real, since counterfeit money would require unnecessary additional effort. While they're negotiating the price or the victim is otherwise distracted, an accomplice switches the bag of money for a bag of sawdust or other worthless items. Before the victim realizes what's happened, the swindlers are gone. This is called the green good scam. Basically, they believe they're paying for one thing when in reality, they're getting another. This originates from the pig in the poke scam from the Middle Ages. People thought they were buying a pig in a bag when in reality, they were buying a cat, which was much less valuable as meat. This might be where the expression letting the cat out of the bag comes from. The worst part about these scams, or the best part if you're the crook behind it, is that the victims can't report the incident to the police without facing charges themselves, since they were knowingly trying to buy counterfeit currency, which is a serious crime. The good news is that with things like the internet, it's easier to stop these people from getting away with it, or even stopping it from happening altogether. And until next time, thanks for watching.